Hi, it's Peter with Mob Guppy. If you've not subscribed to my channel, oh my goodness, what are you missing? You need to do it right now. Hit subscribe and also ring that bell. When you ring the bell, you know when I have new material and new content flowing out to you. Welcome to Friday Fish Friends. This is where I introduce you to an organization or a company or a website that you may not know of that serves the tropical fish, fish fam community. All right, I'm going to introduce you to somebody that I like a whole lot, and it's a club. And if you're not a member of a club of your favorite fish, uh, I suggest you join because you learn so much. Today we're going to learn about the International Fancy Guppy Association. Okay, on this first page, you're going to notice uh, it's sort of a welcome. They give the mission of the International Fancy Guppy Association, or IFGA. You also get opportunities to be involved and to join the club. I'm a member, and I enjoy it very much. Okay, if you click on shows, you get the show schedule. And it already has the show schedules you can see for most of 2019, at least the first half. It has... Uh, Addison, Illinois, uh, the Guppy Associates, International Chicago, then they have the Michigan Guppy Breeders, the Gateway Guppy Associates, uh, the Utah Fancy Guppy Association, and the Deep South Guppy Association. All right, so here's how this goes, is that they have rules, and they have things to follow. How should the guppy look? It's what color should it be? And I follow the rules set up by the International Fancy Guppy Association. It's not because I'm a snob. It's basically, I want to learn from the masters, and these are the masters. All right, if you go under the Members Only tab, it has a list of the current e-bulletins. They supply a monthly e-bulletin. November and December, by the way, are the same one. But so essentially, 11 months out of the year, you get an e-bulletin. Uh, you learn, again, a whole lot from these great people about fancy guppies, and you learn about uh, how they go through problems from disease to feeding to culling to picking breeders. It's very, very interesting. And they also have the International Fancy Guppy Association Library, the IFGA Library. Uh, this has articles written by uh, the biggest and the best people in the guppy hobby. And there's Jim Alderson. He is a great guppy breeder. You have Purchasing Guppies by uh, Luke Roebuck, who sadly passed away. He's a beloved guy in this hobby. Again, you can learn from all the masters. Getting the guppies to a show, Stephen Quartler is the guy I purchased my fancy guppies from. Uh, they also have the legend of the International Fancy Guppy Association, a guy named Stan Schubel, who just passed away. And he was a guy that just really, really, really gave so much to the hobby. Articles by great people like Gary Mousseau. Uh, you have articles from Elvis Bryant. I mean, just great, great guppy breeders all the way through. And as you can see again, you learn about chameleon guppies. You can also learn about the makings of a guppy club. If you ever thought, well, maybe I should have a guppy club. There isn't one. Uh, near me. There's an article on that. There's also articles on all sorts of stuff on how to care for the fry, how to feed them, what these people do. They also have older e-bulletins uh, from the IFGA going back to 1977. Uh, and they also have guppy extracts. They have uh, three of the five books right there, just pieces of them. So you can learn through in the IFGA roundtable from the early 90s. So again, it's so important to be a part of the International Fancy Guppy Association if you like to have guppies. All right, below, you're going to find that link to the IFGA. I suggest you join. I also suggest if you have a club that's somewhat near you, join that as well. You're going to be able to purchase quality breeding stock from IFGA members. And you'll be able to go out and say, okay, well, that's how I do things. That's how I learn. There are a lot of people online, and I'm not going to criticize people who, uh, who breed in different ways that the IFGA says. People do what works for them. Fine. That's good, and that's what the hobby is all about. 
But the IFGA is there to help reach these standards, uh, standards of health, the standards of the shape of the guppies. And it's a really, really a good group of people who are willing to teach you what they know. And isn't that great and that why we're in the hobby to learn all about science and to learn about breeding, how do you selectively breed, how do you call, when you outcross, how do you outcross. Is there a way to do things in the right way to have the most healthy, vibrant guppies there are? All right. Again, thanks for watching Friday Fish Friends. I want you on. If you happen to be one of these business owners, if you ship fish, if you uh, go out of your way to uh, help the guppy hobby, if you're a club that I happen not to be a member of, you're all in. And you know, if you're a library association, cichlid club, discus club, International Bed of Congress, I'm all in. So just reach out to me. On my page, on the Mob Guppy page, which you've subscribed to, you're going to find the About tab. The About tab has my email address. Send me an email. That's it. It's all it makes. I'll get you all the details. I'll smuggle you all the information that you need to become a Friday Fish Friend right here on the Mob Guppy channel. Again, Thank you so much for being a part of this video, and I really appreciate you being a part of Friday Fish Friends.